All right, good evening, ladies. In today's video, we are going to be discussing one of the most important niches in crypto right now, and that is decentralized compute. And that's a subset of the most important niche of the cycle, which is, of course, AI. And I've been saying this for months and months and months, and I've done videos on a number of the projects that I'm gonna mention in this video already, and a lot of them are doing very, very, very well with kind of because of how well NVIDIA has been doing with the whole AI narrative completely taking off. It's very, very important that you have a good grasp on the best projects in this niche and in this category. So there are kind of two things that AI really needs that are in short demand. And that of course is compute power as well as storage. And I've done a deep dive on storage before and kind of came out with what I thought was the winner in the decentralized storage place space, which I found to be shadow. And I've talked about that already and finally shadow is starting to wake up a bit but ai needs storage because it needs a lot of data to be able to like learn if you know what i mean so it needs a lot of storage but more importantly probably more importantly than that which is even in tighter demand which is even shorter supply is of course compute so we're going to analyze what i think are the top decentralized compute platforms and networks in crypto and I'm going to kind of give you my ranking, which is my favorite from my research. Now, there's a lot of different projects in this niche, and I've kind of just chosen the four that I think are the most interesting and I think are probably the best ones, but potentially there are other ones that are interesting. I think this niche as this category as a whole is just going to absolutely just destroy in the next bull cycle, because as we've seen, obviously, I mentioned Nvidia's price just will not stop going up. The demand for NVIDIA's GPUs is just absolutely exponential and completely insane. And the reason the demand is so high, obviously everyone's talking about AI and everyone needs as many GPUs as they can get their hands on. But for you, for an AI model to get better, like for a linear increase in the effectiveness of an AI model, you need exponentially more compute power. So if you just wanted 2X the accuracy of your model, you're going to need like 4x the amount of CPU and GPU power, which is kind of one of the reasons that the demand for these GPUs is just completely off the hook. And the nice thing about decentralized compute networks, like the ones we're going to mention in today's video, including Render, Nasana, Ionet, and Akash, is that they can offer businesses that are need AI services, AI rendering, AI inference etc these decentralized networks can offer them at a cheaper rate and the reason they can offer them at a cheaper rate is because people have a lot of compute power like idle compute power sitting in their houses for example like gamers in particular often like their computer isn't powerful enough by itself to run these very compute intensive games so a lot of the time gamers will buy an extra gpu from nvidia now they're not going to, well, some of them are gaming 24 seven, but I think a lot of people aren't gaming that much, like maybe a couple of hours a day. So the rest of the time that compute power is just sitting there idly. Now with all of these services, you can now sell that compute power into a network and actually earn money for, you can rent out your GPU basically. And obviously if you're not using it anyway, and you can earn money from it. You don't like, you're probably willing to do that for less than someone who's specifically bought GPUs to rent them out like a cloud provider. Now we can see AI is getting better and better and now even ChatGPT have released a new product called Sora, which is text to video, which people thought wasn't gonna happen for years and years. And it's already really, really good as you can see from this example, you can see the, the uh, prompt there and how accurate the video is coming out of it. So people have all this spare compute, even, even eventually in their Xboxes and Playstations, you're gonna be able to rent out that extra compute power. And because of this, these decentralized networks are up to 85% cheaper than a cloud provider. So obviously there's a big incentive to use these crypto rails, these crypto network versions, rather than cloud providers if it's so much cheaper. Now, that's, this is one of the few examples where crypto's projects and crypto rails is already giving massive, massive value. And, you know, it's a perfect niche. It's providing massive value. It's in AI niche and it's crypto. So like not more, not a lot more needs to be said that this niche is really, really important in my opinion. Now the market cap of Nvidia is higher than the entire market cap of crypto, all crypto combined. So it's about 2 trillion. So just 
just a little bit bigger than the entire market cap of crypto whereas the entire market cap of decentralized ai projects is like 20 billion of all the ai projects so like some of these projects i'm going to mention are a thousand times smaller than mark of the market cap of nvidia so just so you get a, an idea of the scale like we're talking very very small projects in comparisons to nvidia right so the first project we're going to mention in today's video is render and this is actually the biggest project in this niche and it kind of does what it says on the tin it's a rendering platform so they were first they, they've been around for quite a while actually and they're mostly focusing focused on 3d rendering for graphics and videos and animation so you can kind of see where rendering could be useful for ai like we saw with the sora the new chat gpt text to video app so rendering is actually very important for ai now render the project is also like not completely pivoting but they are also allowing for ai inference and ai needs for gpus so they're allowing allowing a broader use of their GPU network power. So they're the biggest project. They have the, they have the most GPUs out of the tokens that are currently live. Now, what Render has recently launched is approved computer clients, compute clients. And this basically allows the other projects that I'll mention or other projects to tap into Render's networks and basically sell their GPU in the Render network. So because Render has the biggest, bigger network of clients, and it basically is allowing like Nasana and Ionet to tap into that bigger network, allowing them to rent out their GPUs and tap into Render's bigger network. I think that's what is happening here, but basically all you need to know is that Render is allowing for partnerships between these projects like Nasana and Ionet, which we're also gonna talk about. The other main thing about Render, the thing that I like the most about Render is they have massive partnerships. And these aren't like, you know, like a lot of projects in crypto have partnerships with Apple and Microsoft and Google, but these partnerships are that potentially a Google employee sent them an email or something. So I think a lot of the time when projects have partnerships, they don't really mean much, but with Render, they actually do have strong partnerships with Apple and also with Google and Microsoft as well. Yeah. Lastly, Render moved from, it was actually built on Ethereum and it's moved from Ethereum to Solana. And that has happened a lot recently. A lot of projects are moving on to Solana, especially deep in projects. So that's very bullish for Solana in my opinion. But yeah, that was a smart move by Render move, moving over to Solana. Now, the next project we're gonna talk about is Akash. And Akash is not built on Solana. I think it's built in the Cosmos ecosystem. So I, I, I like the Cosmos ecosystem as well. But Akash do have some interesting tech. They have this new, tech that they've released called the AI Super Cloud, basically allowing for NVIDIA H100s, A100s, they sell CPU and GPU in the AI Super Cloud. Now, Akash do seem like they have very good tech as well, and their CEO is very outspoken. Like, if you listen to him on uh, interviews and stuff, he's very intelligent. He, he's, he's a little bit, maybe, uh, a bit cocky and stuff, and he's kind of, sh like, he has shits on render a bit. So one of the things he mentioned about render is that render is closed source and it's optimized for stable diffusion only, whereas a cache can run 15,000 different models. He's saying a cache is much better from a tech perspective, so I'm not entirely convinced, but you know, we can give him the benefit of the doubt. But cache still has a relatively low market cap. Render, I think, is already in the billions in market cap, whereas a cache is still under a billion dollar in market cap. The next project has an even lower market cap and has been absolutely going insane recently. And that is Nasana. Now, Nasana is also built on Solana blockchain, so it uses the Solana blockchain. It's not live yet, but it's like, they only started up recently and they completely pivoted to AI inference. So that's what all their GPU power is like focused towards, is AI inferences. They don't care, uh, they're not focused on AI render or rendering or, any other use of GPU and CPU power. So that's one of the main things I like about Nasana. It's 100% focused on AI. And yeah, that's one of the main reason this chart is just completely, completely vertical. Now, like I said, the actual, it's still on test now. It's not 100% live yet. So you can sell your GPU power into the network already as 
like uh, it's in beta so you have to apply to be on beta so it's not fully live yet but it's expected to go live within the next six months to a year hopefully within the first six months so there is obviously a bit of risk there because it's not fully live it might have to iron out a few kinks but because it's fully focused on AI, AI that's something I very much like and the other good thing about this project is is tokenomics for a relatively new project are really really good so that's something I Pay, it, pay a lot of attention to, but the tokenomics are very strong. Like, not a high inflation rate. Most of the, I think it's 80% of the tokens are in circulation. So, you know, you're not gonna get absolutely dumped on if you buy this token. All right, so the last project we're gonna mention, mention isn't actually live yet. So this is a, a bit of alpha. This is definitely one you wanna keep your eye on for when it does go live. This is called Ionet. And, you know, people have been talking about this a lot, like smart individuals, that this project's gonna, it's going to be big when it does drop, but I also think not barely anyone is talking about it. Only a few people, like a few smart people on Twitter are talking about it. But like once this does go live, it's pre-token, it doesn't have a token yet. Once the token does go live, I'm probably going to ape very hard, depending on the market cap, of course. But, you know, it's one I'm very, very excited about and not a lot of people are talking about it whatsoever. Now, why do I like Ionet? Again, it's very much focused on AI. And yeah, you know, AI is the niche for this cycle. I don't have, I don't know how many times I'm gonna have to repeat myself in every single video, but that's kind of the niche you should be focused on, in my opinion. So they are focused on AI batch inference, batch AI model serving, parallel training, tuning, and reinforcement learning. So basically, they're focused on what AI needs from CPUs. And on top of that, they are very much focused on GPU clustering, which is very important. Like if you want to be competitive in all of these AI batch inference, different things, you need a GPU clustering to be competitive in that. So your GPUs need to be together. So even though a lot of people haven't even heard of Ionet yet, they have 25,000 GPUs and they have a wait list for 200,000 more GPUs. And just for a reference, Render, which is the big, biggest project in this niche right now, has 3,000 GPUs. So it has like eight times more GPUs. And so when it does launch, if the market cap is below Renders or, you know, anywhere that's not too high, that's kind of, you know, potentially a, a good metric to look at, the amount of GPUs that they actually have. And then when researching, like I'm not 100% confirmed on this, but I do think it's going to be on Solana. They kind of mentioned that they want to do it on Solana. And I think the token is going to happen within three months. So yeah, just keep your eye on that one. All right, so now a conclusion. Sorry, my light keeps going off, flickering on and off. I hope that's not too annoying. <laughs> but in conclusion, which token is my favorite? Which token did I go ahead and buy and which did I not buy? Well, unlike with the decentralized storage, when I researched into that, there was a clear winner which stood out to me, which was Shadow. Although, like, again, the decentralized storage plays, like, a lot of them are good, and the niche is very important, it's gonna do well. So, basically, as long as you're not p picking the worst one, I think you won't do too badly. But the decentralized compute, all of them have their merits, and all of them seem good to me. So, I've bought all of them, but I haven't bought them all in the same quantity, and, so I'll just go over what the highlights are for the different projects. Render has the most partnerships, it has the biggest network so far, and it's also partnering with Ionet and Asana as well. So Ionet and Asana, like even if Render doesn't do as well, if those ones are doing well, they're partnered with Render. So there's kind of that confluence, that um, cooperation that will help them all do well that are within the Solana blockchain. Akash, I've bought the least amount of, but I do think the tech is good. Even though the CEO is a bit brash, he you know, has a lot of good points and is very ambitious. So I did buy a little bit of cash as well, but I've made Nasana my biggest position in this niche. So Nasana is the one that I think has the biggest upside, but it also carries some risk, like I mentioned, it's not even live yet. So the safer play is Render. I bought, that's the second biggest, it's pretty much the same size as the Nasana back. But yeah, those two are the ones that I've bought the most of. I've also bought a bit of a cash and I'm keeping a lot of cash around in case Ionet drops at a reasonable valuation. I'm probably just gonna buy it no matter what the valuation is. Personally, I just, I think that's gonna rip when it does drop. 
Now I'm going to do another video on the decentralized storage place, which ones are the best because Filecoin is now partnered with Solana. It's going to potentially move over to Solana. So that's something I need to look into a bit more. And Shadow is seeming a bit strong now as well. So, you know, AI needs a lot of decentralized storage. It's going to love decentralized storage. And people are kind of sleeping on the decentralized storage aspect of it all. Well, it's starting to wake up a little bit now, but everyone's focused on decentralized compute power. Decentralized storage is also something you should be keeping your eye on. So I will be doing an update video on that. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe if you want to catch that video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.